Although this video is about factorising linear equations, in order to do that effectively, there are a couple of key things that you need to be able to do beforehand. One of those is collecting like terms, and the other is multiplying out brackets. So if we take an expression of the form 3x plus 2y minus 4x minus y, then collecting like terms is about gathering together all of the x's and gathering together all of the y's in order to leave a more simplified expression. So what we can see here is we've got 3x and we've got minus 4x. Well, 3x minus 4x is going to leave us minus x. So we've got 3 times x, we minus 4 times x, and we're left with minus 1 times x. If we do the same for the terms involving y, we've got plus 2y minus y. So if we had two lots of y and we took one lot of y away, we would be left with plus y. If we take something with a few more terms involved, if we take this time minus 4x plus 2y minus 6y plus 3x plus 2x plus y. So now we've got three terms involving x and we've got three terms involving y, but the process is exactly the same. We've got minus 4x plus 3x plus 2x. Well, minus 4x plus 3x is minus x. And then if we add an additional 2x, we're going to be left with plus x. If we do the same for y again, we've got plus 2y minus 6y. Well, if we've got plus 2y and we minus 6y, then that's going to give us minus 4y. And if we've got minus 4y and we add an additional y onto that, we're going to be left with minus 3y. So our expression becomes plus x minus 3y. If we relate this to an equation, then we can do exactly the same. So if we have an equation this time that states that uh, 2x plus 4y equals 3x minus 2y, then the same as when we rearrange equations, providing we do the same operation to the left and right hand side of an equation, the equation will remain balanced. So in the case of this equation here, what we can do, we want to get all of the x's together and we want to get all of the y's together. And it doesn't really matter if we get them all together on the left hand side of the equation or all together on the right hand side of the equation. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get everything together on the left hand side of this equation. So the first thing I need to do is get rid of this term on the right hand side. And I'm going to do that by subtracting 3x from each side of that equation. Well, 2x minus 3x is just going to leave us minus x. The 4y is going to remain untouched because all we're doing is we're subtracting an expression involving x. We're not doing anything to expressions involving y. If we look at the right hand side, we had 3x and we've just subtracted 3x. So that 3x completely disappears. And what we're going to be left with is minus 2y. So now I've only got one expression involving x, but I still have two expressions involving y. So the next thing I'm going to do is get all of the y's onto the same side of the equation. And again, I'm going to get them all onto the left hand side of this equation. So this time, what I need to do is I need to add 2y to each side. Now the same as before, this time the expression involving x is going to remain untouched because I'm only adding something involving y. I've then got 4y plus 2y, which is 6y, or plus 6y. And now if we look at the right hand side, I've got minus 2y plus 2y. So all I'm going to be left with on the right hand side of my equation is 0. So the other thing that you're going to need to be able to do in order to factorise effectively is actually the reverse of factorising. It's called multiplying out brackets. So what we can do when we look at expressions involving brackets is we can remove the brackets by multiplying them out. And I'll give you a couple of examples. 
if we start with something simple, if we have 3x plus 2y. Now in order to multiply out those brackets or remove those brackets, we're going to need to take the multiple that's on the outside, which is the 3, and we're going to need to multiply each of the expressions inside the brackets by that 3. So here we've got an x plus 2y in the brackets. First of all, we need to multiply the x by 3. 3 times x is just 3x. And the other expression inside the bracket is 2y. So we've got 3 times 2y. Well, 3 times 2 is 6. So 3 times 2y is just 6y. So we've multiplied out the brackets. If we take something that looks a little more complicated, let's say, for example, this time we have an equation and we have minus 2 outside the brackets. And inside the brackets, we have 4y minus 2x. And on the right-hand side this time, we're going to have an equation, so we need a right-hand side. On the right-hand side, we're going to have 4x plus 3y. So what we're going to do in this example is we're going to do two steps. First of all, we're going to multiply out the brackets, as we did in the previous example, and then we're going to collect the like terms together, like we did in the first examples on this video. So if we look at the left-hand side of the equation, we've got a multiple of minus 2 outside the brackets, and inside the brackets we've got two terms, 4y and minus 2x. Well, minus 2 times 4y minus 2 times 4 is minus 8. So we've got minus 8y. Just be a bit careful here because we have a minus times a minus. Well, minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4. So our next expression is plus 4x. If we move to the right-hand side, we've got 4 outside the brackets and x plus 3y inside the brackets. So 4 times x is just 4x. And 4 times 3y. Well, 4 times 3 is 12, so we're going to be left with 12y. But we're not finished yet. If you remember, I said we wanted to collect like terms. So now we would look at this, this equation, and we would look at how we get all of the x's together and how we get all of the y's together. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to collect the x's together. And what we can see here, actually, is we've got plus 4x on the left-hand side, and we've got plus 4x on the right-hand side. So the only operation I can do is minus 4x. We're going to lose both terms involving x, but that's the nature of simplifying equations. We want to make them as simple as possible. So if we subtract 4x from each side, the terms involving y are going to be untouched, so we'll have minus 8y. Now we've got plus 4x minus 4x, which is just 0. I could write here, minus 8y plus 0, but there isn't any reason to do that because minus 8y plus 0 is exactly the same as just minus 8y. Our right-hand side, we've got 4x minus 4x. Again, is just 0. I don't need to write 0. And the y which is untouched is going to remain as plus 12y. Well, plus 12y is just 12y. Okay, so I've removed the x's, but I'm not quite finished yet. Because if we look here, I've got minus 8y on the left-hand side of the equation, and I've got plus 12y on the right-hand side of the equation. This time, what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to collect the y's on the right-hand side, just because the operation's a little bit easier. So I could either subtract 12y from each side and get all of the y's on the left-hand side, or my choice is to add 8y to each side. Well, if I add 8y to the left-hand side, all I'm going to be left with is 0. And if I add 8y to the right-hand side, I've got 12y plus 8y is going to give me 20y. So 0 equals 20y. In this case, I've written the 0, otherwise I wouldn't be stating what the 20y is equal to. 